So, Randy, if you want to start us off. Wow. Well, I'm on the Facebook page. I'm just looking to see how I get into the watch this. See it for 20 seconds. Okay. But I started now. <laughs> Obviously. Hey. <laughs> hey, thanks, Trevor. Thank you. I just I want to thank everybody so much for being a part of our nonsense, as I always say. Um, you guys really saved the day for us. I don't know what this crew would be doing if we didn't have the head goat 50k in May. Um, it's given us something to work on. It's given us hope that somebody really did care about us. Um, um, we all got lots of miles in, some more on weekends than we ever would have. We would have, we all, we have a lot of clear weekends and uh, mm -hmm. this is saving us like it's saving you, I'm sure. Uh, I, and we know that, I mean, we're reading your Facebook, so the Facebook page comments and, and we know, we know that there's a lot of people in a world of hurt and there's a lot of us that are, are, uh, getting a lot of support just from this, this silly streaking out the door every day in May. Um, it was great. I just, uh, I'm, there's no doubt that I'll be sad when it's over. <laughs> you know, one more day to sneak up some miles, but uh, thank you all. Thanks for coming ahead and go from the heart. So today we got a couple of new faces or a few new faces that weren't on happy hour with us last time, but many of you that have been to a number of the events know two of them, but you're unlikely to know the third one. <laughs> but uh, They won't uh, let us put on events. <laughs> Amy, Chris, and Jody, and I'm going to introduce you guys to Amy. Amy works in our warehouse, and she's the, the queen of the setup crews and packing lists. And without her, nothing would make it to the race site. Her and Gary. And it's Gary. A team. A team. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, know, most, of you, yeah. <laughs> most of you do know them. Jody because she is literally the face of RF events if you've ever had a question. She's the woman behind the info emails. She's the gal who answers the phone. She's the friendly person who fixes all the problems. Uh, <laughs> that is, and that is Jody. <laughs> Try to. And I'm going to introduce you to Chris, who just started with us a couple months ago, and he got thrown right into the mix right from the get-go. <laughs> and he does the art. He designs medals and shirts and everything, and he jumped right in and is awesome. He's been such a great help. <laughs> he got thrown right into the, all this craziness, too. <laughs> Talk about a first year. <laughs> Um, your first race he was first race he got to work turkey trap his day one that was his oh, first yeah. day on the job yep. Yep. thanksgiving right. day first day on the <laughs> at the job pretty fun hi, um everyone's saying hi so hi back we see you in there mm -hmm. um everybody tell us what you're drinking and in about 30 seconds we'll do a cheers uh well maybe after everyone here says what they're drinking so we'll start with Mr. Steph. What are you drinking? I'm drinking some uh, Murphy Good Cat. Perfect. And Chris, what are you drinking? I'm drinking an all day IPA. Ah, perfect. Trevor? I also have a red wine Cabernet. So. <laughs> Jody? I got my Oberon. And Amy? I have my Oberon. And I'm drinking. Decoy Chardonnay. <laughs> nice duck on there. Um, so if everybody who's watching and everybody who's drink, I see you're drinking water, you're drinking Chardonnay, an emoji, so who knows? <laughs> uh, ginger ale. Somebody said my dogs are killing them. <laughs> killing me too. Um, so cheers and thank you everybody for such an awesome month. And <laughs> oh, does anybody have
have any questions, we can answer those. Um, but if you don't have a question yet, um, we're just going to go and talk about streaks because that's just what we did. Um, Mr. Step, if you want to tell us the longest streak you've ever done. Um, you know, some of this stuff, of course, you know, I've been running for a long time and I've been around, you know, I get to kind of do this for a living, like just go for a run every day. So my, my best streak was uh, where I averaged nine miles a day for a year without missing a day. That was a big, big number at the time. What? Nine? <laughs> yeah. You know, so this, you know how that happened? Nine miles a I, day for a year. A year. So I was training to run a marathon. It was actually going to be my third marathon. And the first ones went okay. But, you know, I was trying to qualify for Boston. And back then you had to run 240 to go to Boston, not whatever. They added like a half an hour to that. Um, but I, there was a thing in a running magazine and they said the collapse point is three times your daily average mileage. So that if your daily average mileage, whatever that is, three times that is as far as you can run. So I figured I got to run nine miles a day to run 27 miles to run a marathon without collapsing. That, but, doesn't, uh, that doesn't make any sense. But, but at the, you know, like I say, it's a long time ago. And at the time, nobody ran like slow because the, I think the marathons had like a four hour cutoff. They throw everybody off the course, stuff like that. It was not exactly like it is now. I'm really dating myself. Tuesday, I turned 64. I've been running like all of those years, by the way. That's awesome. All right, slip in your shameless plug. Your birthday's <laughs> one of the days. It fits here. What? I don't have a birthday run this year, though. No, but it's on the calendar for the June event. So I hope, yeah, shameless plug. How can we help but not <laughs> want you all to join us at Stay K? Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm like, if you look at the side trip, the lighthouses are cool. Trevor, did you visit the lighthouse yesterday? I visited a couple. Oh, where'd you go? Well, I did. I started off at our our starting point in South Haven, and I went over to Holland to the Big Red, and then I went to Grand Haven. And went out to that one. So what are you doing? Shooting a little video? Is it, we're going to see some of this? Is this going to be part of when they when they get to the lighthouse? Sure I've actually physically been to all of them, and I'm going to be stuck home getting in my miles, so I won't be able to do it in June. Uh, we'll all get to see Trevor's pictures of the lighthouses. Yes, Pretty Trevor, what's your longest streak ever? I don't actually know. Uh, it was. It'd probably be in college cross country though. We probably ran all of August, September, and October. Mm. I, the time I tried to do a year, I started in January. I made it through all, it was a terrible, terrible winter. I made it through January, made it through February, <laughs> the second week of March, and I was doing great, awesome streak. It had been really nice. You know, we had a good week and then there was a huge snowstorm and I just said, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was like, there's no way. If this is how the streak is going in March, I'm not going to make it a year. And so I took a day off and then I did another 60 days. So I did like, like almost 70 days and then I did another 60, but there was one day off. So I've never made it very far, I would say compared to you, maybe. Uh, Amy? Oh. Um, I've actually never tried the streak before. I've trained specifically, you know, for events and had days off in there, but I've never tried the streak before this month. So it's been a challenge. I'm, I'm kind of a newbie at it all. Oh, but this one, you did this one, right? I did this one. Oh, there you I, go. I That's a streak right there. It is. Yes. It is. <laughs> Jody? 
Uh, my longest one would probably be that last year, the day I started one and then I broke it in June, the day of our triathlon. So I restarted it the next day. So the day after our June try last year, and I went until the end of January and then I forgot a day and then, mm. then I got back. <laughs> so six months kind of? Yeah. So from June until January. Very cool. And Chris? This was definitely my longest streak. I'm a pretty structured, regimented runner, but I'm not one for streaking normally. I, I like my rest days usually uh, once or twice a week. So this is, this is my longest. So I've been kind of poking the idea of these streaks don't necessarily, streaking can be a lot of things. You know, to get a streak of not running less than 10 miles a week for year after year after year is a hell of a streak with a lot of motivation. Or like I've talked about that, not not running ever less than three miles a day. I mean that or three miles a week. So I mean or three days a week, let's say. I mean there's all these different streaks that will show up. Right now you guys got a month of every day getting out there and putting in some miles. It's pretty easy to take a piece of that going forward and create a streak that you might be able to continue the rest of your life. Um, I, my dog, you already I'm got sorry. a base. You got a great base streak. Uh, it goes to three days a week. If it goes to one day a week and you never miss one day a week for the rest of your life, it's you will get out there on Sunday night at midnight and you know, 11 o'clock and get it in. So. Ivan wants to know because he knows how important recovery time is. What are your thoughts on that versus a streak? I would say for me, it's just make sure you take nice, easy days. Go for it couple mile don't push make sure your heart rate's real low like you're taking a nap <laughs> depends, depends what your goal or your streak is you know if it's you just want to do something every day for or get out for at least a mile that's definitely fits into recovery for a lot of people so. um yes you can walk a mile and count it as a streak day if that's the the stipulation of your streak if your streak is to try to do a mile a day walking counts i would say your streak was to run a mile a day then you know you would just have to run 14 minute pace that day <laughs> i'd like this because it counts my walking and running yeah yes the longest yeah. streak i ever did was a year but i it was a mile a day and i i walked probably three quarters of them. <laughs> Great thing about running is you can walk during a run. But if you're a walker, you can't run during a walk. Yeah. Did you know that? I kicked off 2020. I should have known. I kicked off 2020 with three miles a day and I made it through February at three miles a day. But then everything fell apart, <laughs> including the world. <laughs> Hey, you were out there in the work early on the treadmill running. Yeah, around. I was coming were, to work before, really before work and then workouts, and I was cranking away. I was getting like a mile in before work, a mile during work. I like that. Joanne Graves, of course, I'd say walking counts. I hope it does. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne is walking 31 miles tomorrow, by the way. She's not the only one, I know that. A couple out there putting in 31 miles. Awesome. Wow. Everyone's heartbroken about Woodstock. We yeah. too are <laughs> not yeah. too happy, but we'll make sure there's something going on online or everyone's doing their own pop up something. Yeah, thanks for checking on me, Jody. The day I found out I couldn't have Woodstock. So no if I was okay. Definitely. That was a rough one. Very, very sad to hear that news. Um, it's, I see that Stephen Lehig, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but you're in here. But did he, Trevor, correct me if I'm wrong, just did he did a marathon a day for seven days? Is that what he just did? Oh, I'm not positive on that one. I'm pretty sure you can chime in down there in the comments. But either way, there are some people 
I mean, I'm just doing the mile a day. Today, I literally walked a mile with these maniacs. <laughs> I love them. Inopportune ball moment, Lily. Hi, hi, hi. Come here. Leave it. Correct. Nice. That's awesome. Any thoughts on Devil's Lake? Uh, you know, we're really hopeful. <laughs> It's gorgeous, and we're excited to go visit Wisconsin. Yeah, we have been it's one minor. of my favorites. I love it out there at Devil's Lake. It's such a cool place to be. It's one of my like places I'd really like to go back outside of working in the vet and just go camp and swim every day and paddleboard and run in the mountains or whatever you want to call that area. It's and rock climbing. Yeah. It's really cool out there. Yeah. I've never I've never climbed on real rock. And that looks like a sort of friendly-ish place to to try it outside of a gym or something. Every year Amy and I are like, we should have brought our rock climbing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. Chris will even get to go to uh, you know, an out of town event. <laughs> <laughs> Toss my fingers. Yeah. I like this not drinking alone stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why we're here, so everybody. Fun. We just want you to watch us and then you can drink alone and really feel like you're having a great time. And if you feel like talking to us, you can ask us questions. Um, someone asked, would we hold events in states that are open if the surrounding states aren't? I mean, hopefully that's kind of what's going to happen in July, um, with Devil, Devil's Lake in Wisconsin, they, they are pretty open right now, it seems. Um, we have a lot, we, I, we talked about it a lot in the last half hour, but we have a lot of, a lot new COVID um, events. Uh, maybe Amy say, because I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> we have a lot of, of um, policies in place and a lot of um, precautionary measures to keep our runners safe. Jody and I are both on the safety team um, that we've been researching and trying to keep current to, to keep everybody just as safe as, and comfortable as, as we possibly can make them. So we can have events and, and have social aspect of our race and still, still be safe. Yeah. Starting, yeah. like everything will be different. The starting line will be way different than you've ever seen it. It will be like more like a swim start at a, mm -hmm. at a triathlon, like uh, trickling out there. You know, there'll be different start times. You'll be signing up for races probably based on, you know, if the 7 a.m. starts, 50 person is filled, you'll have to join the 7.30 or the 8 o'clock when you sign up for races. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Unfortunately, one of my favorite parts of races, the high fives and the hugs, will probably not come back, even if the races come back. That will be the weirdest, yeah. the weirdest thing for sure. And aid stations will definitely look different, but it'll look different. But we are still the same, and yeah. we will still provide an awesome experience for our, for everyone. And Colette, we. We are in a bit of a wait and see on the Martian. We will let you know. <laughs> uh, that is interesting. How would it affect cutoff times? Because it's also new, obviously. We'll have to figure that out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what event she, do you think they're referring to? With the pacing? Just in general. Any yeah. ultra where we have a cutoff time or half marathon where it's three and a half hours I I imagine that it would then be if you started at 8 30 you would, you, would, you would have the same amount of time no matter what time you started at for the cutoff time yeah you know, a weird at aid stations trying to cut people off but you know <laughs> I would see us doing different color bibs for different colored start times for different distances so they know blue <laughs> yeah, red like the tries different colors yeah well look at your watch <laughs> <laughs> or that you have to show us. <laughs> uh, I like I like one of the questions that just got posted about from Laura. She asked if you recommend 
uh, warm up mile before a race to get a better time. And I, I like to warm up a ton before a race, like, like a lot of running. That's uh, interesting. Maybe it's because we're related, but I also like a long amount. I like a long warm up. And even when I ran in college, everyone else did two miles before a 5K, and I had to do five because yeah. my body just takes longer. It's just, would, it's personal though. Depends totally how long personal. it takes to get all the fart and burps out. <laughs> we all vary on that. It's good to get in a nice long warm up, get back, get some water hit the bathroom, and then mosey your way over to the starting line. And if it's an ultra, no warm-up. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that later in the I mile. I jog around a little. Uh, any Jonathan, miles, but. Jonathan asked, um, with staggered starts, would the winners be chip times versus gun times? And um, I, we would, we would hope to have everybody who thought they would be in contention to when it they would be in the first wave and it would be gun gun times and then but age group awards would still be chip time like we have it now yeah you can't have the first person coming across the line behind a lead vehicle not be the winner so, yeah. that's, always been, that's always been an issue there's people that run the fastest times over the years in our event and it can't be the fastest time because if you outkick somebody down to the line and you started three seconds behind that, you know, you, you won the, you know, really? it's gotta be one of those little things. Yeah. Wild yeah, Bill's watching us. Dave, I'm not answering your question. <laughs> <laughs> Ignoring you. <laughs> we'll talk about it another day. Poor Dave. Talk about the mad dog. Yeah. Mad dog, I know you're as sad as I am today, man. Mad dog's the poster child for run Woodstock. Mad dog's been getting in a lot of miles. Good job, dude. And Styro. Yeah. Anybody see Mad Dog, you know, he did he he wanted to name that uh, he wanted to have a it's like his own Wilson, but Wilson was taken, so he's got Styro. He's got the foam head. He's rocking it. <laughs> it's been wonderful. Do you see any? It's hard to keep up with all these awesome questions. <laughs> well, we, we got June coming up. Uh, if you're not excited about June or you're not signed up for June, you should get excited about June and sign up for June. A lot of the things that I see are people who don't think they have enough time or, you know, it's a commitment or whatever. But I say, because this is a personal journey based on minutes, you can count gardening, rollerblading, <laughs> razor scootering, uh, rock climbing, yoga, yoga, Pilates, spinning. I love spin class and I'm really excited for spinning to reopen. I just bought new shoes thinking maybe that'll help them reopen faster <laughs> yeah i'm kind of waiting for the streak to end tomorrow I, I switch back i every summer i become a triathlete you know i'm a closet triathlete but i, I become a triathlete i i focus on triathlon for a couple of months do one 70.3 and then switch totally back to like the fall marathon program but it gives my gives me a little bit of a break. You know, you work hard to, to run that spring long race, jump into try training, and then come back. But there was no long spring race, so yeah. I really, I, I'm sure you all find it hard to train for nothing. <laughs> Rich Fazzy wants you to share your dad's quote about running and living to a hundred. It is a good quote. Yeah, probably. So I finished it like a 20 mile run or whatever it was. And I'm laying on the back porch of the funeral home that we lived in. And he comes up and he looks at me and I'm just out of it laying there. And he looked at me and he said, you know, you might not live to be a hundred, but it's going to seem like it. Perfect. It's the perfect time. We don't do this because it's easy. 
Trevor, when's that goat kid do? July. That was that was a real um, question. Unfortunately, <laughs> right around <laughs> Dance of the Dirt. Do I look old enough to be a grandpa? Forget I said. <laughs> <laughs> no is the right answer, right? <laughs> I think so. No is the correct answer. <laughs> Joanna just said, life is short running makes it seem longer. <laughs> Yay. That's just a... Hi. So I was out running at Island Lake State Park today and uh, I saw a ton, of, a ton of swimmers going out to Trout Lake and all of them were saying how amazing the water was. I don't want to blow up anyone's spot, but if you need a good mm -hmm. lake to swim, that lake is awesome. Or just or a great place to just run around the lake and get in a couple of miles on the trail and maybe jump in the water after. So. Nobody knows where that is, that trout lake is hidden. That's true, it's not really on the maps, so, but it's awesome. Did you get some good miles in today, Trevor? So I went and did the loop that we would have done for island time today, and I am pretended that I was there and the steel drum bands were playing and the hot dog truck was feeding me. And uh, I did, uh, well, I covered 17 miles, but I ran 15 and walked two with the dog. Nice. How were the hot dogs from the truck? There weren't really any good? hot dogs. There wasn't any music. It Aww. was all just imaginary. <laughs> and the grass wasn't cut. Imaginary um, island time. <laughs> I listened to a Bob a Bob Marley CD one of the laps. That's it's like Perfect. we were there. Wow, excellent. You like the route, Trevor? I love the route. It the footing is not very smooth a, a lot of the time, but on the like single track trail. Say there had been a couple hundred other people doing it with you. It would have smoothed out a lot by the end of the day. Yeah. 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 The course though, like as far as how pretty it is, it's so cool because you'll do like these up and down kind of rolly sections in the woods and then you'll come out to these like open fields and you can like see the lake as you're running along it. And then you'll jump back into the woods and you go up and down and then you shoot out into the field. And it's like, you see like, just it just is really so much so much different terrain in the short time for two for a two mile loop and uh i don't know running along the little lake there is is pretty cool so with trevor's talking about island time it's like a 24 hour or a 12 hour or an eight hour you know the event that should have taken place today today <laughs> But, uh, so, but it's a lot. It's a lot like streaking. You know, you a lot like streaking. If you guys have never done that, you show up, you put in some miles, you take a nap, you put in some miles. You know, you you know, you take another nap, you drink a couple of beers, you go out and do a couple of more miles. That maybe just get in the most miles you've ever gotten in a you know in in a day. You can sign up for any amount of time, twelve hours, twenty four hours, three hours. Yeah. Well, Bill wants to know if we're going to have a training class for volunteers. What, what kind of training class? Well, the idea is he's thinking they forgot how to do it. They I forgot, forgot how, how to do it, too. I'm a little bit nervous. Forgot how to put on a race. I do not feel like I'm in event shape. Definitely haven't been lifting things up. My dogs, they do not care about happy hour. So I will just interject that I think he's talking about the clean team and Amy and Jody yeah. training. And Jody? Amy, answer this question, gosh darn it. <laughs> the answer is yes. My internet is unstable at the moment. But yes, uh, if, if we're talking training of volunteers for, for post-COVID, you know, we will have some training on staff with the volunteers, some trainees, some free emails that go out. Just to give you an idea, you, Jody, and you're on that team, Jody. How many hours do you think that your 
team has in. You figure there's four of you, and how many <laughs> hours do you think you have in on, on writing the six plan? Um, I, I would, I don't know, a, a lot. <laughs> a lot. So many. A there's lot. so much are, stuff out there, and it's our, like updated every day. So, um, probably a yeah. hundred hours a week for the last few weeks between four people or so. You know, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, at least, at least I've done a good 25 or 30. How many yeah. Zoom meetings with uh, that you've watched with guidance meetings from it, CDC, it, it, from Small Business Administration, oh. Iron Man website? I mean, the Small Business Administration, their websites are really good and their webinars. They do a good job. So, a really, really good question popped up from Mad Dog. Is that what you were going to say, Anna? Yeah. So, Mad Dog asked, "What? How did you come up with Devil's Lake as a place to put on a Dancing with Dirt event?" Yeah. And does anybody I know besides me? I does think anybody? I kind of remember. What would be the guy's name? The reason Circus. we went. Cody. Cody. You Cody. Oh. So what God. happened was. At Gnawbone, there was a team at Gnawbone from Baraboo, and they just said, you got to come here. And I said, where the hell is Baraboo? <laughs> and then uh, he, you know, he said, you got to come. You're going to love it. And I go, so who's going to do the work on this race? Where are we going to get the volunteers? He goes, I'm going to get all your volunteers, and I'm going to, I have to admit, you know, Cody did a ton of work early on for us came up with courses, came up with ideas. And so I went up, finally went up to Baraboo and I was just floored by the, the bluffs, you know, the 600 foot bluffs straight up. And it's, it's, it's breathtaking. It's some geological formation I've never seen anywhere out west or anywhere. It's, it's incredible land. So that's where it came from. And also this year, uh a list came out of the most beautiful state parks in every state and Baraboo or Devil's Lake State Park was one of them and Brown County State Park was one of them which is where the two out of state Dances with Dirts are. So that was pretty cool to see. Uh, Dances with Dirt Hell is probably in the ugliest state park but it's great. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any mountains but we got swamps and bugs and everything else. If if you're looking for something to do and you think like and we find out and it's the week of dance with the dirt and you can go can't guarantee there will be a shirt for you but you should sign up and show up if we can have it you should no excuses <laughs> <laughs> draft to wisconsin yeah. can we say they could all camp in the yard of the house we rented no probably not <laughs> that will that will do not good things for your airbnb rating <laughs> um, so uh, we forgot that we are going to announce the winner of the GPS challenge, just so everybody knows everybody who was in those final pictures will get a prize, but the winner was the middle finger COVID uh, by just eight votes and second place was the Spartan. So. Oh, got Anybody got that picture handy to push your phone against the screen? No. <laughs> One of you guys? <laughs> No. Uh, people are drinking, so that's fun. Ashley, we're super proud of you. Just keep drinking. It's a good time. Saturday. Bob, I'm raising my glass. Bob. What else are you going to do? Well, how many people did the 50K in May? Um, There were 3,500 people signed up, and then logging miles is closer to... 2,200. 2,300. There's 2,500 in the group. Um, it's pretty wild. Liz Angel says that she wished that they highlighted us when they talked about virtual races on the news last night. And I wish they did too, Liz. I've emailed the news <laughs> and they're not, they're not talking about us. I don't understand. What else are they writing about? Well, not us, apparently. <laughs> I know the local news uh, around me, the articles are terrible. There's not, they're writing about nothing. 
They're like, oh, yeah. that stuff no one's interested in. Yeah, when we have staycay coming right up, we're going to go on vacation together. We're going to visit some. Chris knows a lot about lighthouses. He can <laughs> tell us a fact, Chris. Just throw a fact out there. I don't know. <laughs> we are a really fun crew to go on vacation with. I think Anna knows a lot of facts too. I know so many facts about Michigan. It's wild. Um, it's getting annoying when I go and I talk many about waterfalls it. Waterfalls we have. We have in this state over three hundred waterfalls, but you know what? Not one of them's in the Lower Peninsula. I'll tell you what. They're wow. all in the UP, but a lot of them. <laughs> you are never farther than eighty-five miles from a Great Lake in any point in the state of Michigan. We have the longest coastline, the longest freshwater coastline in the world, and the second longest coastline in the country, saltwater, freshwater combined. We are on, second only behind Alaska, which is pretty crazy. Um, and Sharon asked who won the other contest, and those will be tomorrow. That's Sean. Sean keeps chiming in. I know he's there. He's got his drinks. He's living the dream. Yeah, he loves lighthouses. Anybody, anybody in the comments have any favorite people they liked keeping up with in this challenge in the group? What's the name of the sign? I have to give you time to answer. Um, also, what was your favorite part about this challenge? What was your favorite part about this challenge, Jody? While we're at it, um, I had so much fun. <laughs> no, I I really liked the calendar and adding all the fun days because I like don't ever run with the Kentucky Derby hat on, so that was fun. <laughs> so just like the um, the random things along the way and looking at it every day, and I really liked coloring the goat hooves. Hoofs, hooves, how do you say it? I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> the, yes, the lighthouse coloring sheet. I have a whole so rainbow. Tomorrow, you might, everyone will like that. Um, someone said there is a waterfall yeah. near Black Several, I'm, I'm seeing they're chiming in, yeah. the, the waterfalls. Yeah, I guess there's, I don't know. I saw a I waterfall on my run the other day. So, I mean, I've seen some waterfalls. Might have been man-made in someone's yard, but I saw it. <laughs> I wonder what the like the distance the water had to fall in order to be a waterfall and the what you were reading that's a good question too yeah i wonder if there's some sort of a over five feet or something yeah so many waterfalls everyone yeah, loves everyone waterfalls i like your moves jackie are you talking about me because i'm a very good dancer uh, the girl with the signs we all love the girl with the signs we talked about her in the last live her signs are awesome. Yeah. I mean, I always like Sean's signs too. But I almost Sean said signs? one of those, I almost made one of those comments that Anna tells me you can't say that shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 2020. You gotta be careful. <clears throat> yeah, I'm terrible. DNR John. John Miller. Hi, John. He likes my facts. <laughs> Favorite part was I'm not the only one doing a mile. Sharon, you're absolutely, I like seeing that people were doing a mile. Mm -hmm. I like that. I certainly oh, had a lot of ones on my calendar. Jeff said that he used the secret wave many times and didn't get any response. Jeff, I also used the secret wave many times. So did I. Get any response. <laughs> Anybody I got a response from the secret wave? If you got a response, please let us know. But nobody, all these people running up and down my street, but not a one of them streaking with me. I thought for sure the guy with the Liberty shirt in my neighborhood might know it, but he didn't. He, he didn't know. Mm. No, he didn't know. Mm. <laughs> it's not a COVID cough, I promise. Just a dry mouth, need more wine. It's a good idea. Lisa is out there getting in her miles right now. Well, I hope this is a fun show for your run. Hi, Gail Bazzi. What are you drinking? 
Adrian said that her favorite was anyone that spoke up about struggling but getting it done anyways, who was scared to start but push themselves. And that was my favorite part too. It was so cool reading all the posts. It was very cool. Every, people shared so much and I felt really lucky that we were the people who put on an event where people felt like this was a safe space to do that, which it is. And please share. Um, but it was really, really cool to be a part of that. Like to, Yeah, it's really cool to see that. Yeah, I was, I was so humbled that you guys would share so much of yourselves with us. Um, it so motivated me. I mean, we're all in the same boat. We've been shut down since mid-March. Very depressing for us. You guys kept us, kept us motivated, got us out the door, gave us a reason to, to keep going. It was, it was, it was inspiring. Thank you all for that. Mm -hmm. Well said. Tell us about your sister, Jody. Uh, my sister. I like this story. <laughs> my my sister is loving it because she's always been a walker. Like she walks all the time, and she right now is working from home, and so she's in meetings all the time. So she's usually like in the office having to sit there, but now she's on conference calls all the time. So she's been doing like ten miles a day, and she's having so much fun. And she actually called yesterday because she hit two hundred miles, and she was so excited because <laughs> she's never walked that far. Like, and when she realized she hit got over a hundred like a week or two ago she was just like i'm gonna aim for 200 make sure you tell your co-workers i'm so excited <laughs> for her go stacy yeah she was very pumped so it was cool everybody loved the support and i think that's so cool that that it worked out it, you know we didn't know let's say we didn't know what we were doing but like we'd never done this before we did not know how it was gonna go um we like the ideas of the themes. Sorry about a hill day and a stair day back to back. That's <laughs> poor planning, but. <laughs> we got it, we did it. It kept it spicy. <laughs> it really kept it spicy. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to squeeze and put in these miles and then you're going up and down a stupid sand dune or whatever nonsense everybody chose to do. I like that, like Paul is talking about Love Spirit Week. And it's not just like running a mile, like, but all this uh, running a mile in her yard, that kind of stuff, really. So, next month, <laughs> we have a <laughs> Next month will be like uh, the head goat on steroids as far as nonsense going on every day. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, there's so much. And we've gotten so one thing we did was we have a lot more people working on everything for this right now. And Chris is going to be a big plus, you know, he didn't get to do, you know, now he's working. Like he's the lighthouse king. He's on the art on this. The art is going to be great. The, can you give me an idea a little bit how you open up a lighthouse when you get to it? Chris, maybe you explain that. Yeah. So the map page, uh, which <laughs> will go live on Monday when the event starts, People will be tracking their total time um, either via an analog sheet or the Google Doc sheet, and you're going to be able to go to the map page and enter your total minutes and in the uh, field there and submit it. And the highlighted lighthouse will move around the board to show kind of your progress. Then you can click on all the lighthouses as you go, and it'll open up a PDF card, which will have a picture of the lighthouse, a little bit of uh, facts about the lighthouse, about the area time to the next lighthouse and some sort of side trip regional information points of interest so you can ex virtually explore a little bit more um, as you're moving around the coast of Michigan. So how about the time that it takes to get to these side trips like if you're going to the candy store <laughs> or you're going to a brewery or whatever it is between the lighthouses? So, you that time or you, so none of that's logged so that's just all uh you know that's all, for you know, fun if you all, yeah, further, just, just, just an extra plus to virtually explore yeah but you should do the mileage to go to those spots no for the hour yeah, the that's the idea but you don't have to log those you don't have to those minutes don't unlock lighthouses those are bonus minutes that yeah, you so do when on I get your to own. the first when i get to the first lighthouse 
you can go 30 more minutes and go to the candy shop, but that's just for fun. So that doesn't count yeah. your, your trip to the next lighthouse. That's just, uh, uh, yeah, that's just, you know, uh, per site uh, extra. So when I signed up for that like middle minutes thing, you're going back and forth. you're going all the you're going to Detroit and then you're coming all the way back. And I, and and those minutes out to these different it, things. Those don't count. Those are just oh. for fun minutes. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but they're super fun minutes. Yeah. Plus, if once the pages are unlocked. I think everyone's gonna freak out because when we saw them, all we wanted us to do was go do these things in real life, but yeah. just as fun to read about them. I thought the side trips were really cool looking. Really. Yeah, the side trips. We got a little great. insight here. We got to see some of them, but I'm I'm definitely so. That, so as soon as you get to a lighthouse, do you have to open the side trip when you get to it, or is it... no? Side trips just a side trip. They'll be listed. It's a personal journey. <laughs> oh, but you get to know about the side trips. But you get there on, when you unlock the lighthouse, it tells you at that lighthouse what the side trips are that you can do for fun. And there are links, so you can you can link from the PDF to the web and explore to your heart's content. Mm-hmm. Just a small glass, that's why I'm going. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> that seems... <Maybe> <laughs> That could be a problem too. Like my buddy John Swanson, like he always says, I'm not drunk, I just slur really easy. <laughs> I just love that line. <laughs> Somebody, Erica said that she's tearing up a little bit seeing all our faces and she can't wait to see them again at a real race, which is obviously how we all feel. It would be really fun to go to a race and see some faces. Yes. Um, Lynn said that she's going to use our lighthouses as part of her uh, lessons next year for school, which is awesome. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, I saw one other thing I was going to say. Oh, Jane Sanders. This was her first ever running streak. Most miles in ever in a month. Pretty cool. Iron Congratulations. Jane. Iron Jane. She's a, she's a rock star triathlete. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my you gosh. You can't do a, a real happy hour to end this month, huh? That'd be cool to rent out a big space. That's totally a thing we would do, too. <laughs> I'd bring so. it to that. Those fields with the circles painted over it for a mile and everybody's hey. out there. That's not a bad idea. Jeff wants to fill our hyd hydration vest with wine next time, which um, I guess it depends how far you're going and how <laughs> hot it is out. For safety reasons, we don't want to promote anything dangerous but i love the plan i love it i think it's a great plan in other words the farther you go the more wine you need not maybe not <laughs> i don't know that <laughs> <laughs> sounds fun you dan keep dan must have missed when we said we had streaks but he says running or otherwise other streaks i don't know you ever streaked anything else, anybody? I don't think so. I think he means uh, actually going streaking, and I, I have done that, yes. Oh, well, we got the head goat here. <laughs> I, I was born naked, by the way. It's terrible. <laughs> Let's see what else. I mean, everybody was <laughs> All right. Christine Bembo, she likes to feel the happy hour. Oh, Joanna took a selfie a day for 15 months. That's a streak. <laughs> Joanna's got got stuff like that up her sleeve. Only at Woodstock. Yeah, most people only streak at Woodstock. That's probably their one time a year. Ashley. <laughs> I've got a streak of getting a dog every December for two years. <laughs> I'm with you on that, Anna. Every October, I get a new critter. <laughs> yes, very good. It's a good, it's a good one. Do you to, have, just... Amy? <laughs> yeah, Amy, your critters. I have quite a few. Yes, um, less than I had before, but I have quite a few. Um, my goats seem to have twins every year, so my goats reproduce on the double. They're they're the latest uh, acquisition this year. I've got six now. You were doing goat yoga before it was a thing. 
I was. It was. <laughs> it was absolutely something. <laughs> oh, you know what, Dan? 2014, I did pure bar for a hundred straight days. There you go. One hour a day for a hundred days. John, we remember the Naked Mile in Ann Arbor. <laughs> <laughs> we were in charge of uh, making the Naked Mile t-shirt, which made no sense. <laughs> but I was also the guy that made the rule that you could wear running shoes because we had the running store. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jonathan Gardner, that sounds about right. A couple streaking all the way in from the campground. I recall being at Woodstock once and I saw a bunch of naked people come out of the trail on a rope and march past the stage. <laughs> Wasn't part, of, not sanctioned, not a sanctioned event. <laughs> yeah, those naked conga lines, snuck, they sneak out. It's like having a leak in a dam. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, weekend after Labor Day, I'll be running in the woods. I'll let you guys know where I'm at. Huh. Yeah. Certainly shoot us your ideas. If uh, people have ideas for things that are smaller little things that we could do that aren't huge gatherings that require lots of city governments and state parks and people involved, we have lots of ideas, but uh, it's all about lining up all of the uh, all of the parties involved. So, Erica said, "If you don't see casual nudity at Woodstock, you're doing it wrong." <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! You're making us sad. I was I was kind of interesting. I was kind of wondering what would happen with legalized marijuana in Michigan. Nothing happened. Um, I got wrestling dogs over here. High <laughs> energy. I know my dog was looking so shaggy. She's a miniature schnauzer, and I finally I bought like clippers and I cut her hair. And the first time. It didn't go that well. And so then two weeks later, I cut it again and she looks really good now. So if anyone Where needs a haircut, free. So I'll drop off my Aussie to you. Uh, how's Monday? Drop them all off. Yeah. <laughs> we could swap. I could give you a laptop and you give me a dog. Okay. Perfect. Everybody's still drinking? I can't. Before I could see how many people were watching, but now I can't see. So for all I know, it's one it's person. The same. the same. I don't think a lot of people have dropped off, but we might drop off pretty soon here, huh? Just we we just don't have all the time. Just ask us more questions. We'll answer them. Yeah. We're running low on topics. We only had one to, to go off of. Oh, well, let me tell you what's coming up this tomorrow, even with this group. And that will be, I will post two posts in the morning and I will put them as announcements. So you can go to the top of the group and click announcements and you'll see them. One for your coloring page and one for your, what's the other thing? Uh, I had it up. Uh, uh, <laughs> most people. GPS, we did that. Coloring sheet and finisher medal contest. Yes, oh my gosh, how could I forget? Tomorrow is a finisher's medal contest, which reminds me that after I finish this bottle of wine, I should really get to work. <laughs> We're gonna really like my, my medal. <laughs> I made a finisher's pizza, but I ate it. <laughs> uh, I hope everyone's been working on them. I've seen some cool ones in there. I've seen some people work. Anybody here been working on it or are we all procrastinating? I thought about it. Procrastinating. <laughs> yeah. I found a yeah, piece of wood to cut and do a metal, and that, that's about it. Yeah. You guys, seems like you guys aren't very inspiring. I know there's people out there with this. Maybe I'll paint my dog and hold them up. 
I'm not very creative. That's why I'm back in the warehouse. It can be anything, uh, Jackie. Um, so uh, I in the last one, I don't know if anybody watches The Office. Somebody said I'm going to do the yogurt lids, and I said, "Yeah, that's awesome. Yogurt lids is a perfect finisher's medal." <laughs> Thank you. You can yeah. also take an old medal that you did not. If there's one you don't care about, I don't know. You might care about. You should care about all of them, but if there's one that you just happen to have, you can always paint over it and then write something else on it. That's what I did for my 30th birthday. <laughs> Jody actually painted them. She is the real champion here. Jody is the queen of spray paint. Absolutely. There's always something happening in the There are bugs outside. Who knew? I like when Jody made everyone medals for Kim's first 5K, our accountant. That was exciting. That was so much fun. That was so it was fun. her first 5K. We had to do it up big. <laughs> she was so excited. Um, Joseph, like the finishers medals. Uh, they it was in an email yesterday. Um, they might have seen, and then just kind of we've sprinkled it in within the comments. But yes, you should get to work. Make that finishers medal and post it. In the comments on the post tomorrow, and you can be a champion. You're already a champion for being here, but yeah, posting it as a comment on the post would be great because they're really hard to find if you don't. <laughs> there are over 230,000 comments, so it's kind of hard to scroll through and see all of them. Wow, that's I cool. Do, I'm doing my best. Someone said they saw me on everything, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm the I'm the glitter of this Facebook group." No <laughs> wonder you can't find any comments on posts. It's not individual posts. I don't know how many individual posts there are, but like if a, if someone comments, I mean, so, anyways, that's like a, that's I was like surprised a, when I saw that number. That's a lot of activity in one month. It's a lot of activity. Not, not that I was looking up stats to tell the newspaper how cool we were and how much fun the event was, but uh, you know, I didn't want to lie, so I had to make sure I had the correct numbers. But they still haven't written anything, so. <clears throat> Pepper's digging her finishers a uh, hole. She's so proud. Here's to Jody. Here's to Jody. That's what Sean said, so I'm drinking. <laughs> Jody, me too. I love Jody. She's the best. <laughs> Go team. If you don't Go know team. Jody, make it's sure you make a point. Team. Make sure you make a point to meet Jody at a next real life event because you'll thank yourself later. We can't do see do our partner. What's that? We can't do see do our partner anymore. I know. And not do to our partners, which I is know, Jody Strange. Do Jody makes sure when we're walking past each other in the hall, we do see to our partners. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, we'll I come up with a new thing. Months. Kim said that she loves her 5K medal and her shirt. So here's just a story, because you guys, in case you want to know what kind of a company we are, um, our uh, accountant and office manager, um, she had never run a 5K before. So we put together one uh, on a day of work in the middle of the day. <laughs> well, forget that part. We were, but anyways, we got shirts made and uh, Jody made medals and it was a to do. And so she got to have her first 5K with all of us. And she had, well, she said she had a good time and she said she loved it. I'm reading from her message that's popping up on my screen, so I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah. And then we got to get lunch at the uh, what's that place called? Uh, yeah. Yacht Club. The Yacht Club. Dan's favorite place. Sharon wants to know when the Facebook page will close. Sharon, I think the Facebook page will close when the swag link closes, and then that's why I've been. I want to encourage everyone to join the June group, even if you're not sure you can make the whole 1172 minutes. Register and see how far you get. Um, Cause that's where we'll all be after that. We'll all be in there. Same vibes, same crazy themes. I promise to dance more. 
I can start dancing till so late in the game here. And I didn't, you know, everyone's really liking it. So I'll keep dancing. I'll have a dance day. <laughs> you will add a dance day for sure. Cause I really, I really wanted other people to do a hill dance and nobody did. <laughs> I'm totally in. <laughs> Does Jody ever not smile? Um, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I think I've only seen a smile. I think there was one time driving outside of Atlanta for about two minutes when traffic was really bad on our way to Florida one year. She didn't smile. I think that was the only time I've ever seen her not smile. Maybe. Or did you not smile? I, I, I think you smiled it. through it. We had a stressful moment at Woodstock this past year, but I think you oh. even were probably smiling awkwardly through it. <laughs> Uh, right. I try to smile all the time. <laughs> he does a really good job. John Swanson's uh, watching. He's my buddy that slurs easy. <laughs> okay, we are going to get going soon. So, yeah, this I'm is so sad. Here. It's kind of the end. The stressful moment, Miriam. Uh, we just, shirts. There was a shirt debacle. There was some sort of a snafu <laughs> we, we were involved in. Uh, Pam, no burpees in June. <laughs> Very pretty bomb. Paula wants one last toast. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, I ran out of, okay. I have I'm laptop. sad to, I'm sad. <laughs> if when races are allowed, is there a liability issue with having a Canadian volunteering? I mean, as long as you wash your hands, I think we'll take it. <laughs> Just depends on you getting across the border. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Um, thank you guys so much for being here all month long. It was so fun. We had the best time. Um, I'm fun. sad. Mr. Yeah. Head Goat, you want to you wanna close her out? We will say... Farewell, but not goodbye to our friends from the Head Goat 50K. We are friends for life now. We are bonded. We have streaked together for a month. Try to tell anybody that. I've got friends that I've streaked with for a month straight. <laughs> now, <there's laughs> Those are good friends. <laughs> uh, congrats to all of you guys. Be so proud of yourself. This stuff is... This stuff is so personal. It's your streak. It's your success. And you're a better person than you were when you started. I guarantee it. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Have a good night.